Kind of. Cheryl, I'll unpack that. But as you mentioned, this is a very diverse ward, and certainly there are plenty of national issues that affect people here in the 4th Congressional District, immigration, DACA, as well as aid to Gaza and Ukraine. But today, as you mentioned, there was a small issue that came up this morning. Candidates in the 4th Congressional District trying to make a final connection with voters on this primary day. The incumbent, Congressman Chewy Garcia, faces challenger, Chicago Alderman Ray Lopez. Lopez says today was like most election days for him, bringing donuts and coffee to poll workers and giving $50 at 20 polling sites for the workers to buy lunch. He says he'd always brought food and added cash after COVID because he said the workers preferred to buy lunch and not share. My judges actually asked if they could just buy their own. So I said, well, fine, we could help facilitate that. But offering cash to poll workers now has the attention of the Attorney General's Election Integrity Unit, which confirms the office is looking into a complaint filed by Garcia about Lopez gifts to poll workers. This is a distraction when we should be talking about issues. He's had months to talk about things and all he wants to talk about is the kinds of donuts I brought for breakfast. It's fine to take donuts. When you start passing cash around in envelopes, it sure raises a lot of concerns. Garcia says the action of giving out money at a polling place is not the image Illinoisans want of their elected officials. I think that any time that cash is being spread around in a polling place on election day certainly suggests that there could be efforts to move Chicago backwards. Chicago ain't moving backwards. ABC 7 political analyst Laura Washington says by Garcia filing the complaint is a way to emphasize the difference between him and Lopez. He may be more than anything trying to reinforce in the voters' minds that uh, Ray Lopez is, represents the past, represents the Democratic Party machine's past. Now, the Board of Elections does tell us that it is common practice for the committeeman, which Ray Lopez is for his ward, to give food and drinks to the poll workers as there's no budget for the Board of Elections. So the bigger question is, is this a big issue or a small issue? And will it really impact voters' decision? As we heard from Laura Washington earlier today, she said in this ward and in this race, rather in this district and in this race, most people really have their loyalty and their alliances and knew who they were going to vote for. So we will certainly see tonight and we will keep you posted. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.